Hello everyone and now welcome to game number two in the series between Focus and Worker. We see Focus spawning on the top left hand side of the map as the yellow orc player. Meanwhile over here on the top right we have Worker spawning as the green orc. Yellow versus green in this 1v1 map or 1v1 matchup on this 1v1 map echo aisle and we'll see how things do get underway as we are looking at an opening with an altar of storms and a barracks which well pretty much the same exact thing going on on the other side of the map this is pretty much going to be the same thing on both sides as people as these two players are getting their bases set up altar of storms now training up that blade master same thing will be happening off over here and at about the two minute mark, I'll slow things down just a bit. Oh wait, Worker opting to go for a Voodoo Lounge. Meanwhile, Focus has not gone for the Voodoo Lounge as of yet. This is a key indicator that um, while we may see the Blade Master pick up those items and then head out across the map faster than um, what is coming in from Focus. Focus opted to um, perhaps hold on to a little bit more gold. I believe his second burrow is already being completed me or already being started as the peon now is going to spot this voodoo lounge and know that the blade master will most likely come across here clear out only the ogre warrior head back sell the scroll of town portal and pick up yep and pick up two healing salves and perhaps a speed scroll worker working on that ogre warrior now meanwhile you can see off over here focus doing pretty much the same thing the grunt is going to get into position he's going to get ensnared but they will both be able to finish off that ogre warrior voodoo lounge here is just now getting started or about halfway done blade master of worker going to finish off this creep camp he picks up claws of attack plus six a very powerful item in this mirror match as well Anytime you can have your Blade Master deal a little bit more damage or attack a little bit more quickly, you are going to be um, just that doing that much more damage. What is better, Claws of Attack plus 6 or, or Gloves of Haste? I do not know. I do know that Gloves of Haste do not stack nearly as well, and you want higher um, higher Claws of Attack plus 6 later on, or more damage, as, you, as that works well with Critical Strike. But at the same time, attacking faster may work well as well. Yep, the Blade Master is currently windwalked as my, well, six-year-old daughter is testifying to. And we'll see whether, whether or not that Blade Master wants to head off to the north and try and clear out that Ogre Magi, perhaps knowing that a Grunt is nearby, ready to do a bit of scouting. All right, there is a lot of head fakes so far in this matchup. You can take a look. There's a grunt down across over here. And now the Blade Master is somewhat in trouble. Is the Blade Master going to get the experience? That is the big question. No, he get, oh, yes, he does. He gets the Windwalk Strike off. And he picks up another uh, Claws of Attack plus six. I'm not sure if that was purchased from the shop or if that was an item there. I'm not really 100% sure that items are dropped there. But there are now Boots of Speed as the Blade Master sitting at level two has a minimum of 39 damage per attack blade master now off to the north picks up a potion of healing and we'll see if focus will have better luck with the potion of healing in game number two yeah there are some grunts off over here as well thank you very much aria as the blade master now coming across and getting some damage onto that ogre magi ogre magi and um, well a quick dust of appearance making sure that that blade master is by himself gonna go ahead and finish it off picks up gloves of haste uh, two claws of attack plus six and a gloves of haste equals plus 12 attack already as that blade master now well trying to heal back up all right what's going to be happening here there is a, a wind walk right there making sure that the blade master gets to heal as much as possible there so far you can see that that blade master trying to get in all of that extra damage as they are still engaging back and forth. Yes, there is a pig off over here, but that is not the important um, item right now as the Grunt could get taken down. There it goes. Grunt gets taken down. Blade Master now able to heal back up. And with Boots of Speed, he should be able to retreat. Um, no, there, there's no undead here. So no one um, should kill the pig unless the pig is starting to trip up those players. Trip up means that they're getting in the way and we'll see if that pig trips up anyone all right all eyes are on the pig as my daughter is curious about the pig and wait 
Oh, a little bit of an engagement back and forth here as that is one of workers' grunts. I know hard to tell green on green versus yellow on green as both sides are fighting here. Blade Master once again going to go back into a little bit of an engagement. Both sides trying to prevent any sort of escape there. Who's going to win out as there was a healing salve used there once more and the Blade Master now on the rise. Meanwhile, a potion of healing used by Focus. So Focus, um, once again, forced to use the Potion of Healing, uh, albeit a bit early in this engagement. And now we are fighting, once again, 108 Critical Strike compared to 72. There is the Wind Walk. No more Dust of Appearance, as the Blade Master may try to back off and heal back up. All right, down to 66. Who, who's going to come out here? This is going to be extremely close. Dust of Appearance, Blade Master, Grunt of Focus gets taken down. Worker barely survives at 20 hit points and now is in a mad rush to try and get away. All right, there is a healing salve now back on the Blade Master of Worker. And Worker really, really did a lot more damage um, considering that there was a potion of healing he had to overcome. What was that, Aria? You saw one Blade, blade Master take out another Blade Master. This guy? All right, Shadow Hunter now back out on the field, turning one of the units into what is it this time? It is going to be it is hexed, and I believe it is a rat taking a lot of damage right there. We could have a hex going back the other way. 15 seconds. There is another as the Blade Master now trying to run away. Speed scroll now being used as you've never seen a faster rat Blade trying to run back home. All right, Blade Master going after the Ogre Mauler here. Blade Master will get to level three, and will it go for level two Wind Walk or level two Critical? strike that is the big question right now as the blade master does not have that much mana if you see a large critical strike come across somewhere in the 150 range then you know it was level two critical strike over wind walk we won't know if it was the wind walk the other way unless he wind walks and i can hover over it on the little icon down in the bottom shadow hunter Coming across here, dealing a little bit more healing, going after some of these kobolds. And he really needs to get to level 2 for Hex and Healing Wave to work together. Blade Master now joining in on the fight, will be coming in from the back and perhaps being able to lend a sword to this engagement. The Shadow Hunter and Shadow Hunter should get to level 2. And meanwhile, the Blade Master, yes, that is a crab. Um, it was also. That crab was hexed. It was really a renegade wizard. All right. Cobalt Hunter right there. Blade Master now trying to engage. Blade Master oh, takes down one grunt. Gets, um, what, what was that? All right. It, it was a hex followed by a wind walk. So the Blade Master was uh, just kind of walking away right there. And is he going to be able to finish off any of these units? The Blade Master does have level two wind walk indeed. So he is wandering around the map faster. And when he breaks wind walk he will deal an extra 70 points of damage meanwhile back across here shadow hunter sitting at level two gonna get very very close to level three as the blade master now putting a little bit of additional pressure on inside of the base he doesn't really want to um, force an engagement he knows that the blade master can get out of any real true sticky situation and um, well he is doling his sword on an orc burrow by trying to take it down but all of those peons are right there trying to repair it Blade Master unable to sneak through past there. Yeah. Shadow Hunter now going after the Renegade Wizard. Gonna go ahead and finish it off. Perhaps pick up a very useful item as the Blade Master is nearby again. Is it gonna try and steal that item? No, yes, he steals the item. A Ring of Protection of plus two was dropped, and the Blade Master was in fact able to pick it up. Ring of Protection? A Ring of Protection increases the armor of Hero by two when worn. No, it means he takes less damage per hit. All right, both sides are engaging. Blade Master versus Blade Master. Scroll of Healing has been purchased, but a level two Blade Master, very, very low on life. Are we going to see a Wind Walk here to try and catch up? Uh, there is the Healing Salve. Are we going to see a Wind Walk? Uh, there is a quick Hex, and now damage going back the other way. Worker is in, in trouble. The pig is running for his dear life as the Dust of Appearance is used, and he is going to be able to get away. Yep, he used Wind Walk once more. Wind Walk allows you to move slightly faster, especially at level 2. That speed increase is quite noticeable. Oh. As we see, selling of some items and now picking up of some more. Shadow Hunter using a Clarity Potion. You can see the Kodo Beast is out and ready to go healing back up. 
uh, the Kodo beast is this guy right here. There is an orc sitting on the back of the Kodo beast, and the and the. Uh, you want him to stay in the front? A town is under siege. Okay. Well, no. I need to see from the battle from the um. I guess a bird's eye view here as we are now engaging. All right, trying to take down some of these guys. Sh um, Shadow hunters are now trying to head back here. You can see a little bit of damage being absorbed by that voodoo lounge. You do not want to give the orc player that voodoo lounge to use as a lightning shield now being cast and really causing a lot of damage across on both sides of the units there. Ensnare onto the Kodo Beast. Kodo Beast unable to eat any true unit right now as another Lightning Shield goes down onto Worker's unit. That Lightning Shield quickly disenchanted though as both sides are still fighting. Worker trying to ensnare and finish off a Kodo Beast. Is the Kodo Beast gonna at least eat something? That is the big question right now as the Peons are joining in on the fight with a bit of Spirit Link. Kodo Beast looks like it will finally get taken down. Worker now with the damage bonus. Focus does not have that damage bonus. And how long is that damage one is going to stick around for as the Blade Master tries to get away? Or, sorry, the Kota Beast tries to get away. Spirit Link and Healing Wave keeping him up for much longer than he should be as Worker does have another Kota Beast in the back. More Kota Beast in the back here. It's hungry, hungry Kodos, but we don't see really any digestion happening at this time as the Blade Master now trying to get away. All right, peons. It looks as though Focus is in a massive retreat right now. Blade Master seeing that level three compared to only a level two Blade Master, and that plus twelve or no sixteen damage difference compared to t uh, yeah fourteen damage difference between the two. We'll see what's going to be happening next. That Kodo Beast really giving the army of Worker a big advantage here as the Peons constantly, constantly getting disenchanted to at least remove their Spirit Link. No Scroll of Healing. No, only one Kodo Beast. That one Kodo Beast surrounding, trying to eat a unit, misses the unit. Wow, good micro coming in from Focus to make sure that the Kodo Beast is unable to digest that unit. Meanwhile, Worker losing a Kodo Beast on his side. There is Spirit Link on that Kodo Beast as they are still fighting once again. I don't know what you just saw. Blade Master now... Blade Master now trying to engage once more. Shadow Hunter continuing the fight. Blade Master trying to finish down the Kodo Beast. It looks like the Kodo Beast will get taken down. Focus finally gets to level three, and but he loses a Raider and perhaps a Spirit Walker in the process. A uh, one Raider will get taken down. Are we going to see another Ensnare go down on that other Spirit Walker? No, we are not. And Worker almost at level four, sitting at 46 over 60 compared to 43 over 50. Low hit point units need to get healed back up. The real, the real story right now is just the level advantage that is in favor of Worker right now. You see level 4 Shadow Hunter, almost level 4 Blade Master. We're going to be seeing level 2 Critical Strike here in just a moment. All of these peons, very, very low on life, need to be swapped out with the peons that are currently working in the gold mine if there is an actual attempt to head out into the field. Now... Is the blade the blade master should be looking to how to get that last bit of additional experience, as there is yes a sheep off over there. Shadow hunter, uh, purposely heading back now. Blade master gonna try and engage, gonna get up front and get to level four without much of an issue. We are at stronghold versus fortress, so the lightning orb could be the the major major difference here. Perhaps casting a purge on an unsuspecting unit, removing their spirit link. And, and also by removing their Spirit Link, increasing the amount of damage taken. Now, that is a very interesting situation where Worker actually invested more in tech. And he is also going to get the in, improved War Drum's damage increase. That is going to be a bigger damage increase overall from plus two to, I believe, plus four. And the Kodo Beast, that difference I, is not easily recognizable by Focus. Focus does not realize that the War Drums is that much stronger than his opponents. Um, or, or that much weaker as it, it doesn't only change the icon all you can really do is just click on the unit and know that that damage has been increased all right blade master sitting at plus 12 damage here for focus meanwhile where is workers that workers blade master at plus 30 237 critical strike that damage is just simply through the roof but there is now no um kodo beast out in the field for worker however that is going to be enough as worker does get the gg there and the main difference being the hero score and the items worker worker taking game number two in this series and the series two to nothing over focus thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it worker i i just said worker run are you listening to me i i oh no the, the one with the gold banner one okay
you need to listen to me. I'm answering your questions even when you're t even when it looks like I'm casting. Now, do you want to say bye? Mm -hmm. Okay, say bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.